Back when I published the video on this aquarium controller I built, someone asked how are these uh, high voltage isolation slots or cutouts done in KiCad. And I thought I'd do a short video to explain how you can design these into your next project. But first, let's talk about their purpose and whether or not you'll need them. There is a common confusion between the terms creepage and clearance. And myself, I'm guilty of sometimes making this confusion. But to give you a clear view on this, uh, I found this uh, picture online which shows everything very clear. Spacing between conductive elements through air is clearance, while creepage is spacing between conductive elements over an insulating surface. So in the case of our uh, PCB, let's take for example these two pins. The creepage distance is a straight line between these two pins. But in the case of these two pins, the creepage distance goes like this. So by adding this cutout here, we have basically increased the creepage distance, which now needs to go around the cutout. But if you would also like to increase clearance, you will need to add some kind of a barrier that goes into this slot and physically prevents any arcing through air between those two points. And this can usually be built into the enclosure, like some plastic walls, and they will slide through the uh, cutouts, creating a barrier. There are also secondary purposes for putting cutouts into your PCB. I have used them in the past to create a thermal barrier or to accommodate various enclosure walls and features. But I won't talk about those today. Those applications tend to vary a lot on a case-by-case -case basis. But if you are using them as high-voltage isolation, you need to be aware of some aspects. First and most important, remember to make the slot at least one millimeter wide. If possible, go with two millimeter as this is required by some standards. There is a minimum width required by the fab house anyway, because they are going to use a router bit on a CNC machine to cut out these slots into the PCB. And this may vary from one board house to another, but I've seen a 0.8 millimeter mentioned by most PCB manufacturers, for example, PCB Way, which is the sponsor of the channel, gives a minimum value of 0.8 mm unplated slot and 0.5 mm for the plated ones. For isolation purposes, you only want non-plated slots. There might also be other limitations on the size of the corner radius. I've not hit any of those so far myself, but just imagine that router bit going around. It will not be possible to create very small features uh, at your request. And now to show you how to do them in KiCad, it's very easy. You just add them to the edge.cut layer. Here I have a simple example with a relay placed on this PCB. And let's imagine you would want to add a slot around one of these pins. Uh, you just need to lay these lines on the edge.cut layer, but keeping in mind that these need to uh, describe an enclosed shape. It doesn't work if you just place a single uh, 0.8 millimeter thick line. It needs to be a completely enclosed shape for KiCad to correctly interpret this as a cutout. The board house might be able to understand a, a simple thicker line, but in KiCad you need to have a closed perimeter. And this means a bit of extra work. And if you have any loose ends, like the perimeter is not completely closed, KiCad will throw an error like this pinpointing the exact coordinates where it finds the issue. So it's pretty easy to go back into the board editor and fix it by closing the perimeter of the cutout. And once you've finished placing the cutouts on the edge.cut layer, you can preview the PCB by pressing Alt plus three. And here are our newly created cutouts correctly represented by the KiCad 3D viewer. And there is no extra step involved from here on. You just export the Gerbers as you normally do and most manufacturers will interpret this correctly. However, as a good measure, I always specify it in the order notes or in a readme file that these are non-plated cutouts just to make sure they don't accidentally consider these to be something else. And here is uh, something that I have considered doing at some point. You might start thinking about adding these to a footprint so you don't have to manually uh, recreate them every time you place that footprint on a board. I would recommend you don't do that because these kinds of things are meant to be managed in the board layout, not in the library editor. In fact, KiCad doesn't even allow you to add stuff to the edge.cuts layer in the library editor. And if you do that externally, you might start seeing errors once you open the library editor. 
But that's pretty much all I had to share and pretty much all you need to know to create these uh, custom cutouts in KiCad. Like I said in the beginning, it's pretty simple. You just need to know and follow a few rules before getting started. And I think I've covered everything needed in this video. If you'd like to add some more information, please leave a comment below. Or if you just want to let me know if this video helped you in any way, smash that like button and leave a comment below. If you'd like to support the channel, you can do so on Patreon with as little as $1 per month. And you will also get access to behind the scenes and early releases of videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.